Hey guys, we're here at another flip we just picked up uh, last week in the middle of coronavirus, kind of crazy, but. You know, it's a, it's a very small single wide that we're gonna be taking care of. It's, we're hoping that it will only take a week or two um, inside and out, it just needs some paint, different things. So we're gonna tackle this thing, see if we can turn it over very quickly. Um, it won't be our uh, elaborate projects of old. Uh, it's got some, it's got some charm and some qualities to it, but it's definitely a uh, affordable housing at its finest. It's it's pretty much as in in Portland, it's as, as inexpensive as you can get. It's a single wide uh, in a uh, an affordable park. And really, this is, it's not, it's not going to have all the bells and whistles, but we're going to make it uh, a beautiful home for someone. So I just wanted to hop on and, and finally apologize for, it's been way too long for this channel, uh, but we're hopefully going to start really uh, cranking up soon over the summer and uh, provided we all can get out of our houses and work, uh, not be quarantined, we'll hopefully be looking at um, doing a lot more of these. We've got two houses going right now, so we'll give some updates and some before and afters for those, and uh, I'll let you guys see what we're up to. But uh, today we're at this single wide, it's a two bedroom, one bath, uh, 70, um, I'm sorry, 720 square feet approximately. I believe it's late 80s, 1988 or so, uh, home. It's been fully resided with T111, so it looks a lot nicer. Uh, a lot of the homes around uh, this park have the aluminum siding still. Um, ours is one of the only ones in the area with wood siding, so it should make it stand out a little bit from uh, from the competition, from the, everyone else in the park. So this is what we're looking at. It's a pretty interesting green color that uh, he's painted. Um, very into security. He left he left some security cameras for us. Very appreciative of that. I'm not sure why he painted his deck pink, but you know we all have our own decision making. Um, he's also a big Green Bay Packers fan, and um, we'll probably be changing that. But it's got a little shed. Um, it backs right up to the fence, so it doesn't really have a backyard or anything. It's pretty small and contained. Nothing too fancy. Um, the deck is actually a nice big deck for being such a small home. It's got quite a bit of uh, runway here. It'll need to be stained or painted. The whole house is really going to need to be stained and painted. But uh, there we go. So walking into the living room, uh, first thing you'll notice is the, the carpet's just filthy. So that'll come up. Um, he left quite a bit of stuff. He was supposed to remove it all, but he didn't. So the kitchen with those three windows is, is really not bad. I mean, it's pretty trash, but we're gonna refinish this kitchen to bring it back to life a little bit. This is the cheaper mobile home style materials, um, press board and everything like that. So it's harder to refinish these, but we can usually buff them down, prime them, paint them, and bring a little bit of life back to them. Got a little bit of sheetrock work here. Um, the floor really isn't that bad. But uh, if you look at the finer details along the edge, it's just been put down and not finished. So we'll probably just cover this with a with a, uh, a waterproof snap together flooring real quick. Um, the three windows really let in a lot of light. There's no fridge, so we'll have to pop in a, a, a fridge, maybe put some shelves over overhead there. Uh, really a lot of shelving and, and storage in here. The uh, the, the range is shot completely, so that'll be replaced. The Kenmore, we have a Kenmore uh, dishwasher here, so that's gonna probably be okay. The, uh, the countertops aren't my favorite, but if we, if we pick a, a complimentary color, um, this may have to stay. This is such a, a limited budget, we, what we may do is just turn the, the cabinets white and uh, and the countertops are decent shape, so we may may look at keeping those. The range, uh, I'm sorry, the yeah, the range hood is uh, really beat up and worn, but it's a really long one. It's it's uh, it's very large, so we may look at if it works. Um, let's see if it works. I'm not actually sure if it works. 
Oh, no, I forgot the power's already off, so. If it works, we may just refinish that um, to like paint it. We may just paint it black to go with the new the new range and call it good. So the carpet will go, uh, all these little things go. The funny thing is, it looks like he's repaired this beam to this faux beam to look um, like wood. And I really like the look, so we may just tape that off, paint everything else white, and leave that beam as an accent beam. Which really, I mean, if we pick a darker flooring, we'll pull together the whole room and really make it seem like this thing is um, uh, just a lot more styled, basically. This window has got a lot of adhesive, sticky stuff on it. Um, if we can get it off, we'll try to salvage that window. We may have to replace that one window. Um, it looks like, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like maybe there was a window here before and they covered it or something, but we'll probably just cut that out and put some sheetrock in, mud over it and paint it. Not gonna get too fancy. Um, again, this is a small hallway. We'll probably leave the sheet vinyl down uh, and then just cover it with the new snap together flooring, but the carpet is just hideous and torn up and disgusting so that'll have to go looks like somebody tried painting in here before and uh, for many of you if you know um, the a lot of these mobile homes come with uh, wallpaper some kind of wallpaper siding and uh, it looks like there's been some damage and what they did was try to just fill it in um, but that's not really the proper way to do it so we'll have to figure out how to clean that up a little bit um, but you can't just paint directly over this stuff uh, because this happens. Uh, basically, it doesn't adhere properly. So you, best case is you uh, scuff the wall and then you're gonna use an oil-based primer to help it really adhere to the wall and then follow it up with a coat of paint. Um, so around the windows, it's got like this little tiny trim. And if it's intact, we may just leave it and paint it. But if it's broken or something, we may look at um, putting our normal trim in. Trimming out a house uh, is decently cheap if you do it yourself, uh, if you do the work yourself. The, the materials aren't that much, but if you hire a crew to trim out the house, what you're gonna look at is a lot of, a lot of labor costs because they need to install. Then you gotta spackle and caulk your, um, your trim and then paint it. So, um, yeah, it, it, it turns into a labor intensive job, but if you do it yourself, it's actually a, a cheaper way to add a lot of value. The doors don't seem to fit or they're not on their tracks, so we'll have to work on that. But I imagine we can probably do something with these doors, refinish them, rehang them, and they'll be good to go. Especially new floor, this is just not good. Not good at all. So he did take his uh, washer dryer. It's a little dark in here, so. Interesting thing is this, does not have a step out. It looks like the neighbor actually is, their property line comes to here. So the only thing we could do is put like a landing and stairs straight down, but it seems like he just doesn't use this side of the house at all. So we may just leave this, but I'll leave that open so we can kind of see a little bit. There is a soft spot in the floor right here. So we'll have to do some investigative work. But here you've got the washer dryer hookups, um, a few more of these old school cabinets that we'll probably just refinish, spray them uh, a new color. This is the master bath or bedroom down here, uh, and it's really uh, not a bad size for this size of home. Unfortunately, he's decided to remove his doors, so we'll have to buy a new track and put in some closet doors. He did leave me a crunch apparatus so I can get my workout in while I'm here. Uh, unfortunately, the cool thing is this beam is consistent through the whole house and it actually looks pretty decent. So we'll, we'll probably keep that and make it look nice. But unfortunately, it's the, it's the classic uh, light switch that goes to the light directly above it, which we hate. But in this case, we may leave it. Um, may leave it. Oh, it does. I guess the power is on. Um, we may leave it just because it's not worth bringing in the electrician to put it up here. Uh, this house will only sell for at max probably fifty thousand um, dollars, and uh, and if we're looking to make sure we get it sold in this current climate, then we probably need to 
keep it affordably priced and just not, not try to shoot too high. Um, unfortunately, the lights aren't working in this bathroom, so we'll have to kind of see what we can see. The floor is the same stuff throughout, so we'll probably update that. It's pretty gross uh, here. We'll refinish this. We may put new laminates on the countertops for mica or something like that. Um, and then a new sink uh, and faucet. That looks actually okay. We'll probably update the, the outlet, may update the mirror. Always, we almost always put in a new toilet just because it's gross and no need to fix it. And then you've got here, you've got, um, I hate these doors on just a normal shower. Uh, this one ha even has like the, uh, the mirror and everything. It's, it's not good and you can't see it because it's so dark in here, but um, this is filthy. So we'll clean it up and probably just refinish it with some, with some tub paint. Um, just kind of update everything. We're not going to go too, too crazy with this, but, uh, at 700 square feet, it's, it's really just a, it's a pretty tight project. There's just not that much room for, um, it's just not that much room for us to do. So it's like, you're just not dealing with too much flooring or too much painting or really anything. So that's it guys. What we're looking at is uh, a pretty inexpensive, um, quick flip. Um, this one's gonna, I mean, it'll look really, really nice, honestly, because it's incredible what new paint and new floors can do for a place. This is going to be under 10,000 for, um, for everything. Um, and so in, in Portland, that's, that's bare bones. That's, that's paint inside and out. That's floors. You know, you're not looking at much electrical work, not much plumbing, anything like that. We always update, um, you know, handles, knobs, stuff like that after we refinish a kitchen just because that in and of itself, a little paint and, a, and the new handles really makes it look like a new kitchen regardless of if you're redoing what you already have. So if you're looking at trying to update a kitchen on a budget, the best way you can really do it is uh, paint it yourself. Make sure you use on this material, on that material here, you know, that you can see. That kind of stuff is uh, is very difficult to paint because it peels so easily. So you want to scuff it up with a high grit um, sandpaper, and then you want to first primer it. Uh, you can sometimes use a paint and primer in one if you want to try that. It doesn't always work as well as just putting on a, a true oil-based primer uh, and letting it cure, and then and then basically coming back with a second coat of paint. Uh, that's going to be your best bet because especially around knobs and handles. Uh, they're high traffic. A lot of people grabbing them with fingernails and everything, and that's where you'll find that a lot of the paint starts to chip. And and once it starts, you know, it's easy to just peel off large chunks. So, um, but yeah, this one will be a this one will be a fun one. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna come in and get some demo done. Uh, we have to replace some of the skirting on the exterior because it's plastic right now. And uh, when you weed eat around a plastic skirting. Uh, basically it just chips away over time so what we've got is we're uh, we're gonna need to replace that with wood uh, with the t111 and then hopefully later this week we will get it painted and this thing will be looking good really quick we're gonna repaint the outside paint the deck clean up the trash and then that's the best thing if, you, if you're looking at um, fixing up uh, mobile homes in uh, in parks well, the first thing you want to do is the exterior because then the park is really excited about you being there. You know, instantly you've helped the park make that home look more presentable. Uh, and then you can work on the inside. The worst thing you can do is, is delay the outside, throw a bunch of junk, you know, in a pile while you're working on the inside. Because then the park manager just thinks you're, you, you know, you're just creating a mess. And especially if you're not going to be very quick, if it's going to take you a month or two to remodel a project, then... Um, then you're just making a mess and you're making their lives more difficult because they're trying to sell other homes in the park or, or they're trying to make their park look presentable and, uh, and you're, not help, you're not helping. So the best thing you can do is just be uh, cognizant of the fact that they're going to, uh, they're interested in, in making their park look nice. So first thing we'll do, paint the outside, paint the deck, clean up the trash, uh, and then suddenly we're uh, a bright spot on, on their day and the managers, you know, look at you differently and they give you a little more leeway when you need to have multiple trucks or, you know, whatever. You know, there's always things that come up and they give you a lot more benefit of the doubt if you're, if you're um, helping them out. So anyways, guys, 
Looking forward to taking you along for this project. Hopeful that it will take like two weeks and it'll be on the market and then we'll see if uh, we'll see if this is a successful one. But thanks for tuning in.